Good afternoon and welcome back. So let's jump back into this and a few design things that I definitely want to change. Because the problem is at the moment um, this menu here doesn't change size in any way and so if I have the graphics or the options menu here open then I don't have any space for anything here basically so I want to make this window bigger on the options it does look okay on the rest so I'm not quite sure if I um, maybe I will remove this side menu make this here a bit smaller and then um, yes I want to redesign this and kind of take it apart separated in different UIs because it just doesn't work correctly because you can see this this is too cramped and it doesn't really work so I will go back to a small main menu and then have a pop-up um, for the sub menus, basically. So the means the sidebar I can get rid of, but first let's create. Oh, there's a thunderstorm here, and have the window open because at the moment it's not raining, but it was raining earlier so it's cold air that's getting in here so that's really awesome but if it's too loud or if there's the rain is starting up again I might close the window or if it gets too cold so let's create a new widget here to take this apart Makes it also easier to open the options from the pause menu later. So let's have this as the options menu. I think the credits I can just add as a pop-up, which I already have UI elements for. And the rest can be displayed in that. Small window there. Um, Okay, so if we click on options here, we are basically opening the other menu. Um, let's go here and copy all the option stuff over. Let's just throw all this in here. 
can sort it out later. So we have the this, which is the and the header. So these elements, but without the children. Let's see if we can copy those. them here okay so I, yeah um, let's remove this because we have those doubled now I'm not quite sure if I need to make this wider, but... The issue here is that it might be too big for some resolutions. I know it would be scaled, so it it's not much of a problem. Um, okay, we have that, and then we need to move all the logic for that. Over here as well. Also need I also need this. I could have just made a copy of the whole thing, but um, let's copy this. that in here Yeah, let's remove the side menu here from the 
that and move this. So these margins here need to change. menu but remove this one and remove those Which would just close the whole UI. button do something else all those here I can move away as well so let's copy all these Even though we have issues here that some of them don't have the right target and this is not here, that's no problem. Okay, so we can remove all this here. And 
the side button doesn't exist anymore this doesn't exist anymore and in this case we don't want to change anything here the only thing we want to do is um, create create a widget options menu and add that to the viewport. Here we don't need any more. And others. No longer needed. Okay, um, what I want to do here is switch the content, but for each of these I need to add a button. to mine from the zoom. So here I'm not quite sure. Um, do I want to have this in the same area or do I want to create a new window for each of them? Hmm. I 
think I want to create a new window for each of them and then have a close button. So for the, I need to create a resume menu or load game menu. That holds all the functionality there and have this as a pop-up, which means I need to change um, this part here a bit for the options menu, designer. What I don't need is this canvas panel, I think. I think I need to replace this with something else. Um, I need to check at the, how did I make the book overlay here? Okay, so this still has, has background blur on it and has a canvas panel. Because this is my kind of pop-up information thing, so it's Doing all that, even though the background blur might need to turn off for this. Let's delete those. And then we don't need the switcher here. We only need the buttons and that's all that's in this here. And the load game menu will have This whole thing here. Anchored in the middle. And then the functionality for this would be here. Kind of, even though we don't need this. Um, we don't need to set the text here because this is static, but the rest is the same basically. So in here we still have the header, which doesn't need to be variable anymore. Um, this would be load saved game. In the content we need
Hello. I'm just working on menu stuff at the moment. And then we don't need those. Uh, let's replace this with a scroll box. And this is the saved games. And wrap this with a vertical box. Just kind of redesigning the, my main menu system and that's why all this looks a bit strange at the moment. Um, let's see. Back to... Okay. Are you working on that alone or are you working um, with a team? Because an RTS is quite a big thing to work on alone. So this is event construct. Okay, so just to kind of get the mechanics and stuff like that in. Thank you for the follow. Okay, um, I mean, I'm working on my project alone as well, but um, I removed most of the um the mechanics um it's an exploration adventure game i'm working on and this is just the main menu map to see something in the background but um, i removed um, I don't have stats for the character, which means I don't have um, any survival um, elements. There's no health. Um, I don't have fighting in the game. And um, what else did I remove? I mean, it's, it's mostly, you could call it a walking simulator, maybe. Um, and there's a bit of point and click adventure elements thrown in. Uh, what did I want to do? I want to go 
here. Get the unclicked. That's all we need to do for this. Because these save game buttons have their own functionality. So they should work. I need to tell this thing here that we want the window to pop up there. Let's remove from this. Create widget. Load game menu. And add that to the viewport. So here I'm not sure if I want to create a new widget for that or just reuse the, the widgets I have. Let's just reuse one I have and it's, if it doesn't look right then I can change it later. So we need the title text and the content text. The title text would be credits. And the content text I need to load in, I think. Um, Yeah, here I haven't really looked at how I would do that, um, but I think I will just kind of construct something somewhere else and then just load it in. So it would be in the game instance, get game instance. to magic game instance and then I would just have a variable here um, so that would be I think it would be a text variable here. This is the credits text.
And then I need to cre kind of create that um, in here. So let's compile this. And just set this as content there. So we do have some issues here. Where construct event load settings. Um, yeah, we don't need to do this here. New game should still be okay. Oh, we still have this, these functions here that we don't need. Okay, so that's the main menu. And then I need to make this look a bit better. Just check, do I have the functionality here? Not yet. So this would be a remove from parent. Okay, all these here I need to rename. So this is all. Change. So this one is. Oh no, this still has the same name. So this is navigation here. So we do have graphics options. I need to change. It's indices and then check here. This is still working. Okay. Yeah, okay, all these here are not correct because the names changed. Uh, let's see. So this needs to have a different padding. Um, top thirty, no forty. No, let's put this at fifty. It's 
still not quite there. So 60. Yeah, I think 60 might be okay. Down here, it's 70. That's how it is. This. Okay, so we need to give proper names here. So this is checkbox. Kind of want to change these to not be checkboxes. Because the checkboxes with text on top of them don't look that good. Definitely need to change the, the slider here to make it look better. Um, let's see. Let's give the sliders proper name. I 
think I want just one button here. So let's remove those. Let's have this one button down here to apply all these. settings Change the name here. Yeah, okay, here yeah, I need to change the functionality a bit so. I mean, it's basically the same as we do here, but um, yeah, I need to rethink this slightly. Um, these are not. Yeah, let's see. Um, so button two. Yeah, okay. The names here changed. So let's why this doesn't work properly anymore. Um, this vertical box doesn't need to be a variable, I think. box here. No, it's not. What is this? Slider. 
Oh, that's the F we start us, so let's delete this one. I don't need the show advanced options. Yeah. What I need there is this header here copied. Uh, let's paste that in here. in here. And then let's have the Point two five, point seventy five, and I need another window mode here. So let's paste one in here. Let's call this borderless.
here. This one should. Yeah, okay, this one's connected now. Because the name is the same, so it's working. Let's get this here. Let's set this to um, windowed full screen. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's give them a comment box. No mods. My graphics settings. Probably this one. So now we need to get these the right names. Checkbox. What do they call them? Checkbox graphics quality, and then they are okay. Compilers, we still have issues here, but these are all found now. So I think it's the functions which are not in here. Oh, this here advanced options. Yeah, we don't need all this. This can be removed. Compile, and now it's compiling. Nice. Let's just connect this for the moment. Correct. What is this? FOV slider. Yeah, okay, we don't need that. Here, all these we can move to the side. Plot a 
FX window modes. And here I need to add the rest for the sliders. And it's needed. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, this is not displaying correctly. Okay, but this works. Even though the changes here do not work properly. Okay, yeah, it has an issue there, so that doesn't work. Okay. Um, because that doesn't really work in the editor mode. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did I to test as well is this credits. Okay, so mostly okay, but I want to make those slightly smaller. And then quit also works. Good. Uh, let's go here. No, let's design. Um, That block needs to be smaller. Um, Thirty. No, that's wrong. So this would be was correct was ten. So let's go seventy here. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Okay. This worked. Oh, um, this didn't work. These here are all set to the wrong visibility. And we do have a gap here. Yeah. So the side menu needs to be And that order is zero for this. And for the for this one it should be one. Okay, and I also want to add Problem is, if I'm adding background blur, we don't see the changes, which is 
slightly annoying. If I don't add a background blur, we still can click on these and can cause a lot of problems here. As you can see. So I need something to um, block the functionality here. I could, yeah. Another thing I could do is use the um, widget switcher here to completely switch out um, all these widgets. Problem is that I would need to communicate this properly that this is switched out. Um, let's see. Problem is, I don't think this works. Yeah, no, this wouldn't work this way. Now, let's let's try this. Um, so if we click, let's, let's add this in here. Grab this with widget switcher. And let's add user created elements to this. Um, that would be the Options menu, load game menu, and in here. I 
Uh, okay, this is a problem because this. The widget switcher here is. Okay, let's. So let's have all this. If all this thing in the widget switch on. Then here we still have the same. Everything's there. Because the canvas panel is lowest element here and then we would add the load game to it the options menu and the book overlay yeah Now I need to figure out how to communicate with the parent object here, probably. See, I would not set this. Oh, okay, this would be, could be problematic. Because here yeah, I definitely need to set the text. So if I click the buttons, then I would create those anyway. So it's not... really what I want there. Can't rename this because there's still something in there. Okay, what doesn't work here? Unable to create a template for widget. Okay. Mm 
So I could do this and then set the title text here, set the content text. The problem is I don't have any buttons in these to go back to the other one. Let's try something else here. Okay, so yeah, this is still... These are still active. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if I have the blur here. still click on anything I can so the blur doesn't help okay just blurs
Oh, oh, okay. Just read something here. So if I set the background blur to visible, this should block. Yes. Okay, so that works. So we can no longer click here. Only if I do this. Okay. <clears throat> It doesn't hide the main menu, but it overlays it. And then I could change the main menu position here. So I have this in the middle, and then it would be overlaid by the rest. Okay, it doesn't really work for the credits, even though it will work when the credits are filled with proper data. I'm not reinventing the wheel, right? Hello, Reality. How are you? Um, yeah, but there's no predefined um, menus in the engine. I need to create this on my own. And while I'm creating it, I'm also thinking about the way it looks and feels and stuff like that. So um, I'm not um, reinventing the wheel in any way. I'm just putting it the way that I want it for my game. And how it makes the most sense to me. I mean, there are, what's this? There are um, things here where you can buy um, complete main menu stuff. Main menu. 
I could have bought this here, for instance, and kind of be done with it, kind of slightly restyle it and then um, could have done that, but I wanted to do that on, that on my own to figure out how it works. Yeah, I'm still in, in the face of um, figuring out the layout of it. I had um, this all-in-one um, widget, but it doesn't really work in one widget only. So I needed to change a few things, especially the um, the options menu. I want to have the... Um, I want to see the game. But even that I'm not redoing, I think. Or reinventing the wheel with so that's why I didn't really understood the comment. Um, I might do things slower than other people maybe, but yeah, not sure. Um, this doesn't need to be a variable. think Let's just need to work with this so let's see um i am using the game user settings here to set the, the window modes even though that doesn't work correctly um, in some cases it doesn't work the way I want it to in other cases it works fine but um, I'm not 100% sure if this is the best way to do it I had console commands before that and they worked a bit better especially for the resolution the resolution I can't get to work with this, to be honest. This doesn't change the resolution. Um, I might mix in console commands in this again and figure out a better way for that. Um, is the rain too loud buzzering you? I could close the window if it's too loud. Yeah, I'm doing that. Um, I'm using the apply settings here. Um, okay. But the problem is the if I do the apply um, resolution settings here, for some reason it goes into full screen mode or it changes the, the window mode for some reason. So, uh, come on. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, the the game user settings 
work best in standalone and not so good in Pi or in new window Pi here. So I need to set this to standalone game. Oh, I need to. Okay, now that doesn't work. Let's compile this first. So for instance, if I change this to that, nothing happens. If I apply the settings, nothing happens. If I go to full screen here, <laughs> nothing happens. Um, so some of those settings do not apply the same way for some reason. So I'm not quite sure how to do that. Yeah, it doesn't change the resolution here at all. Maybe it's this, but I'm not sure. Okay, can you still see the screen? Oh. <laughs> okay. Problem is it moved OBS to a different monitor. Yeah, okay, so that kind of works here, but it's a bit annoying. Okay, and it doesn't go to something lower than that. So I still need to fill in this with proper values here. And for some reason it doesn't really work anymore. Okay, now it works. Nope. Yeah, but this doesn't really, really work the way I want it to. Yeah, I know, but I haven't figured out how yet. There, I, I thought I saw something like this. Um, in here. Uh, let's see. I can get the default resolution. I can get the desktop resolution. Oh, okay.
Oh, here, rendering get supported full screen resolutions, get convenient windowed resolutions. Okay. Okay. that No, let's not make an array. Um, let's see. Object reference. Have an add option. So I can do this, but do I have a clear option? Oh, remove options. A remove option. Clear options, that's what I want. So on construct, we are clearing the options here. And then we're getting those.
Okay, so we are filling them with the window resolutions. And once that is done, we are doing another one. We get those. Let's try that. Okay. So those are the, the windowed ones and this and from here are the full screen ones. So let's set this. Okay. Let's set this to windowed. <coughs> Which doesn't work. So I'm not quite sure if this works properly here because I still can't can't move this window. Okay. Ah, I see. So if I select one of these, it works in windowed, but if I select one of these, it doesn't work in windowed because they're not they're not working for that mode. Okay, that kind of makes sense. No. No, it doesn't. I mean, those are in here as well, aren't they? No, no, this one isn't in here. Because that's a really strange resolution. But I mean, these here are, some of these look like um, resolutions for, for mobile. I haven't seen those 
used for desktop in any way. Okay, so that works, but I'm thinking of maybe only putting the full screen resolutions in there. Yeah, let's do that. It's only at the full screen. Because there's rarely a um, chance where we really need to um, need to have the other resolutions. So let's do this. Do I need to mute? Needed to mute myself for a moment. Okay, so um, the other problem here is that this will also take into account um, the the window mode. If I haven't said that earlier, so it's a bit bit of an issue. Um, Applying those because I can't just apply one part of the setting, which I could do with a console command. And here I'm not quite sure if this actually works. And there goes the artistic lighting and okay. That sounds interesting. Um, I think I might stop here and watch that. Even though I haven't done much at the moment. I mean, I've moved those to different different widgets here so that's better because now I can just um, call the options menu the load menu from the the pause menu as well if I wanted to by the way let's do that uh, let's see I mean, they're live here. Let's check if they are live on Twitch as well. Because sometimes the notification is different. Um, Twitch. Oh. Let's 
They are life. Um, okay. Something happening really quickly. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, Oh, they're hosting other people for the moment. Okay, um, yeah, I will, I will watch that, so, um, okay. So, um, I will be back tomorrow and hopefully I will manage to start in the afternoon, which I wanted to do today. Um, but something, other parts happened during, other things happened during the day, so wasn't able to. So see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.